Our third Fiesta Move mission started off at the Chase Hotel in a beautiful and scorching hot Palm Springs. Uh, apparently there's a reason that no one goes to Palm Springs in the middle of July and it's because it's like 107, 110 degrees outside. Um, but the Chase Hotel was gorgeous. A uh, hotel built in uh, the 1940s uh, by an unknown architect. Pretty classic uh, Palm Springs modern design. Um, from there, our, our mission was to go out and uh, find a bunch of Eichler uh, homes. And uh, this is where I have to admit that uh, despite being a lover of of modern and mid-century modern design, I'm fairly ignorant. Um, Joseph Eichler was a, uh, a developer in the 50s to 70s, I think, um, not an architect. Uh, and um, despite Palm Springs being widely featured on the Eichler network, there's actually no Eichler uh, designed homes or Eichler developments in Palm Springs. Um, we did drive around and uh, found some gorgeous homes. A lot of them feature these uh, inverted butterfly roofs, which are pretty classic mid-century modern design. Um, and actually this neighborhood uh, and a lot of the development in Palm Springs was actually done by the Alexander Construction Company. It was a father-son uh, construction firm. And uh, I think they built over 2,000 homes in Palm Springs. And this whole neighborhood is uh, really kind of embodies what I love so much about mid-century modern architecture. Uh, when they built it back in the 50s, it was uh, pretty affordable by, by standards of the day. Um, the homes were typically between 1,200 square feet to over 2,000 square feet, and um, the prices of the homes back in the day were $16,000 and $50,000, so that's like pretty affordable. Um, and even though they were all the same kind of 40 foot by 40 foot stucco footprint, um, they used all sorts of different uh, roof variations and oriented them different on the, the lots, uh, and that's what really made them interesting. Um, and so this whole neighborhood that we were driving through right here, uh, even though we didn't get any good close-up looks of any of the houses was was really pretty amazing um, how well preserved everything is and some of these houses like this one right here uh, have obviously had some uh, work done to them recently and uh, the whole thing was, was pretty amazing uh, so even though we didn't find any Eichler neighborhoods we found some great architecture uh, and had a wonderful time so Palm Springs way to go